This is Uncle Mark with a three string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, this is a song that's been on the request list for over a year. Uh, it's Dreams. It's by the Allman Brothers. Um, if you seriously want to uh, play this tune, I would definitely suggest listening to the live at Fillmore 1970 Almonds version of this, and then move forward in time through the different iterations of the Almond Brothers. The uh, 1970 Fillmore is uh, classic. It's eight minutes long. It's got great stuff in it. Um, this is the part one of a two-part series. We're going to uh, explore the chords and how to play this song. And then we're going to work on soloing and different aspects of fooling around with how this thing um, works up and down the fretboard and what notes work good and what notes are sour and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to kind of start this song. I've already got the uh, chords on a loop. So uh, here we go. And that's just the jam chords and the intro chords and the first set of lyrics. Um, so what are these chords? Okay, so the first chord in this song, I guess we should go by and see what the fretboard is all about. Um, G, D, G, where the uh, G is a 42, D is a 34, and the G, high G here, is a 24. These are wound electric guitar strings. Um, I am playing through a cube, and uh, I've got it on the Brit uh, combo, and the gain is at about, uh, what is that, 9 o'clock. So, it's a very light, light gain. Um, so, G, G sharp, A, B, B flat, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, E, or <laughs> G, G sharp, K, B flat, B, right? Okay, so we get that. And that's the notes, the, the G notes as well. So, you know, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, as you go up the scale. The D chord starts at a different place. It starts at D. So D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, so on and so on and so forth. And that's going to come in handy when you start making chord shapes. So this song has two main chords in it, a D11 and a D7. And I don't want you to stress over what a D11 is or a D7 is. I'm just going to show you the shape. Um, I'm not going to go behind the theory of what a D11 is except that the notes in a D11 are D, A, and G. Okay, so it looks like this. All right, so I'll do that again. You're on the D, so you look right here. And you can use your pinky and your third finger, you know, this way, or you can do it this way, it's up to you. So, D, A, and open G. So it looks like that. And I want you to use these two fingers or these two fingers because your first finger is going to get busy because the next chord is a D7. So you just leave these two guys here and you put your finger on the C. 
so it's got a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So just think of it like that. One, two, three, one, two, three, D seven. So all you have to do is move one finger. twice, like so, or you can do it however you'd like to do it, but that's like the rhythm for it. Just one more morning, I had to wake up with the blues, pull myself out of bed. That's how the song goes in its basic form. There's also a little bass track that goes in this thing, and it's a D, C, A. And you can play the D open, D, C, A. It's up to you. So it sounds like this. jumps. I call them big hops. So if I say I'm big hopping, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm making a big jump. I'm going from here to here and then jump. Um, it's a big hop. I really try to avoid those. But, you know, with this, you can D, C, A. All right. So that's all the jam. And we're going to go over that on lesson number two. All we're going to do is play with the jam and these two chords. So remember, a D11. So D, A, G, open. Or use these two fingers. Okay, D, A, G, open. And then you just put your finger on the C. Don't lift up these fingers. Okay? There's no need to. Because what's going to happen is there's a chorus. Okay? And the chorus is a G chord, and you're going to make it by doing this. Putting one finger on the D and splitting those two fingers apart. G. F. E. Okay? And you're going to take that third finger and go C. B flat. And A. A7. Okay? So that's how the middle goes. So what I'm going to do is start with the whole world is falling right down on me, and I'm going to go really slow going into this chorus. So uh, here we are. The whole world's falling right down in front of me. Going to G. like this or like this is so we can get to that G chord really fast. So a G chord is just D, D, G. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Why don't I just play it like that? Great. Now you have to think again to make a shape. I want you to keep your fingers on the fretboard. Okay? And I know I just said, talked about big hops, and that means you're hopping around. But my hands do not leave the fretboard when I do these. Okay? I don't leave the 
fretboard, even when I'm... I am always touching the fretboard. The second you give up the fretboard like so, now you have to look and see where you're at. Okay, that takes time and it takes processing effort in your mind. So what I want you to do is, is avoid that type of processing. Um, this is so much easier if you just keep your fingers on the strings, even if it's just that much. So you go from here to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. That's one way to do it. You can go from there to there. You can go from here to here, down, down. No pinky work. But if you notice, I'm sliding a little bit because I'm staying close to the fretboard. Um, that's my, one of my number one rules with all beginners, don't leave the fretboard. Um, the second you get away, there's more processing time for you to figure out where you were, where you're at, what your next shape is. And when you're singing and playing in the moment, those, those times, that they, they takes up too much time. Okay, so you need to stay attached to the fretboard, especially if you're a beginner. Okay, if you're making a D shape, right? Slide down, boom, G. Okay, so here's where we're at. We are gonna do a part two lesson. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna start out just like I am right now with this. And we're just gonna go through the notes that are allowed and where you should put your hands and things like that. This is Uncle Mark and not in the mothership, but um, I do have a PayPal link down below. A buck a show is all we're asking here at the, uh, at the not in the mothership, future mothership that's like out there on my property. Um, the future mothership needs a buck a show. So if you'd like to support, that's fantastic. Down below is a PayPal link. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you've done for us. Uh, sharing on social media is huge. Um, really, really appreciate it. And for that, that one guy or gal, I'm not going to mention your name, that's been wanting this tune, I truly apologize for the wait. Um, it's just that I get really backed up with requests. I really appreciate it, and uh, thank you so much. And I'm trying to get to all your requests. So appreciate it. We'll see you. Thank you so much. Uh, part two coming up.